Otolo 1986 film. Otolo is a 1986 film based on the Giuseppe Verdi opera of the same name, which was itself based on the Shakespearean play Othello. The film was directed by Franco Zaffirelli and starred Placido Domingo in the title role, Keisha Rixirelli as Distimona, and Justino Dies as Iago. For the movie's soundtrack, Lauren Mazel conducted the orchestra and chorus of the Titro alla Scala. The film premiered in West Germany on 28 August 1986 and received a U.S. theatrical release on 12 September 1986. It was nominated for a BAFTA Award and a Golden Globe for Best Foreign Language Film. Plot With only a few exceptions, the film follows the same plot as the opera. Iago plots and brings about Otolo's downfall by convincing him that his wife Distimona. However, in a major change from the opera, Otolo kills Iago at the end by throwing a spear at him, while in the stage version he only wounds him with his sword. Cast Placido Domingo as Otolo, Keisha Rixirelli as Distimona, Justino Dias as Iago, Petra Malakova as Emilia. Urbano Barberini as Cassio, Massimo Fosci as Ladovico, Edwin Francis as Mentano, Sergio Nicolai as Rodrigo, Ramo Ramati as Brabantio, Antonio Pierfidirisai as Doge. Production Menahem Gallen and Joran Globus of Canon Films worked out a deal with popular operatic tenor Placido Domingo to finance him in a film version of an opera. They wanted the singer to appear in an adaptation of Verdi's Il Trovatore. Domingo, however, suggested instead that they film Otolo, his signature role, while working with Italian director Franco Zaffirelli on a stage production of Tosca at the Metropolitan Opera. Domingo discussed the possibility of collaborating again on another opera movie. They had previously made television versions of Cavalieri or Rusticana and Pagliacci together as well as a theatrically released movie of Verdi's La Traviata. Sefirely agreed to direct Domingo in Otolo. Shooting was scheduled to begin in 1985 at Heraclean, Crete. Soon before the filming was to start, Mexico City was devastated by a massive earthquake. Domingo cancelled all his engagements in order to help with rescue efforts. Once the project came close to being scrapped, Domingo agreed to appear in Crete for the filming. Sefirely later recalled that the tenor used his hard work on Otolo to help forget the traumatic sights in Mexico of the injured and dead, which included some of his family members. Music For the most part, the film follows the original score of the opera with several noticeable exceptions. The entire Willow Song South, South, Distimonis solo area, which is largely considered one of the most beautiful moments in the work, is omitted. However, her of Maria, which follows immediately, is retained in the film. There are at various points smaller additional cuts in the music, such as the moment at the end of the storm scene when the chorus is cut short and the film skips to the recitativo between Iago and Rodrigo. This contrasts with stage productions of Otolo, where the opera is rarely cut. There are also two additions, the extra music from the rarely performed third act ballet written for the opera's Paris premiere is inserted into the festivities of the first and third acts in the film. In some scenes, Sefirely was able to use the medium of film to show aspects of his interpretation that could not be done on stage. In the movie, when Iago is informing Otolo about Cassio's supposed dream in which he apparently said to Distimona, let us hide our loves. We see Cassio singing the words, not Iago, as in the original stage version. Here Zephyrly is showing the audience the image of Iago's fabricated dream, as Otolo is imagining it. Another of Zephyrly's interpretive decisions was to show, complete with screams and sound effects, a flashback of marauding soldiers attacking an African village and snatching Otolo as a baby from his mother while the adult Otolo and Distimona sing their act I Love Duet. On the soundtrack album of the opera, released by EMI, the music is presented with no cuts or additions, as it is when Otolo is performed on the stage. 
The soundtrack album, however, has not proved to be as popular as Placido Domingo's first recording of the opera, conducted by James Levine and released in 1978 by RCA Victor. Reception Otolo was named Best Foreign Film of 1986 by the U.S. National Board of Review of Motion Pictures. It was nominated for a BAFTA Award for the Best Foreign Language Film in 1987, but the award was won by Akira Kurosawa's Ran. In the same category, it was also nominated for a Golden Globe. The film was also entered into the 1986 Cannes Film Festival. Leonard Maltin, in his movie and video guide, called the film nearly flawless. Vincent Canby in the New York Times, however, criticized Zephyrly for some of his alterations to the opera's music. In an interview in Opera News, the film's star, Placido Domingo, expressed similar displeasure in the movie's musical cuts. He also complained that the synchronization of the soundtrack with the film was improperly done, rendering the music half a step lower than it was recorded. In regard to his interpretation of Odolo, he felt that some camera cutaways undermined what he was trying to express in his characterization. Overall, he deemed it a good film that could have been better.